Ben Turner. We're here in Western Washington, uh, Southwest Washington, and uh, this is a fast wall house that we're finishing up building. Um, I'm not a builder. I've been a uh, nurse practitioner in my life, but uh, spent a lot of time in my life remodeling houses, rebuilding houses, uh, fixing houses. Just something I like to do. But uh, this is our last house. And we're not going to do that anymore. So I just wanted to build a house that uh, I would build it and it would be done and I wouldn't have to maintain it. And uh, that's what we've done here. So I ended up with uh, this fast wall product because um, it's a masonry product. Um, it's basically permanent as much as any building is permanent. Um, it has the thermal mass on the inside of the insulation. So this house weighs about 600,000 pounds, hmm. and when it gets warm, <laughs> it stays warm. And in the summertime, if it gets hot, it stays cool on the inside. It's just a, it's an amazing uh, place to live in. The other thing we did here, you can see, is the sort of this uh, creamy brown color uh, wall surface is a lime plaster, and lime plaster is a traditional, they also call it Roman plaster. Um, it's been used for thousands of years actually, and it's just limestone and sand. And um, the wonderful thing about it is it lasts forever. It just gets harder over uh, the centuries actually. And uh, like a limestone cave, if it cracks when water runs in it, it just fills up the crack, so it's sort of self-healing. So it's a very uh, low maintenance exterior. Um, the other thing, the color is from ferrous sulfate, which is moss killer. And uh, it costs about $5 to color this house just by spraying on this uh, ferrous sulfate, which basically oxidizes it, rusts, and give it, gives it the color. Um, so it was a very fun process and very easy to do. Okay, this is the south side of the house, and we chose the site carefully so we'd have, uh, this is basically a daylight basement, so um, the whole south side of the house here is as many windows as we could fit in, because even though this is western Washington, still it does get sunny, and even on a cloudy day, at least you get lots of light and a little bit of heat. Um, but energy efficiency was uh, a huge thing for us, so um, um, we got the fast wall, we've got the thermal mass, I put uh, R60 spray foam insulation in the roof um, and uh, that also makes it just totally airtight, there's really no infiltration up through the roof. Um, so we'll see how the uh, energy efficiency turns out in the long run, but I am monitoring it. I have a energy monitoring uh, software and uh, so far we've been spending about a hundred dollars a month uh, in the winter time and less in the summer total uh, energy costs here um, everything's electricity um, there's Tell a masonry heater masonry stove in the center of the house that uh, provides radiant heat for the main living space and also preheats water for the uh, hydronic floors in the first floor in the basement um, it's one thing amazing about this is I just don't have to worry about heating. It's like if I don't want to build a fire on a day like this, you know, where it's 40 degrees out, it still won't get cold inside. It just holds the heat that much because, again, the house is so heavy. There's so much thermal mass in there.